I am doing the oil change on the Time Master. It's the five hour oil change. And instead of using the tipping of the engine over or the motor over, I am using a vacuum pump instead. I saw Alan Hain and Jimmy uh, do this and some other folks. And what I ended up using is a couple different things. One, I use the same hose. Um, the hose options that we have is a softer rubber hose and then a polyethylene hose that's rigid and use that to go down inside the oil dipstick tube. And then this one is used to um, go into the jar and also into the top that you stick into the vacuum cleaner because it's flexible and pliable. And this actually fits right inside. So on this one, it's just a clear vinyl tubing. It's 3 8 inside and half inch outside. <clears throat> and then this one is a quarter inch inside and 3 8 outside. So it fits that outside diameter fits perfectly inside the inside of this one. And you can see over here where I've just inserted it right in here. I didn't have to tie it, wrap it or anything, just shove a bunch of it in there, enough for it to stay sealed and so forth. And when you put a vacuum on it, it holds really nicely. And then you just use this polyethylene rigid tube to go down inside the drain. And you have to move it around a little bit to get, and you'll feel it where it'll catch and just watch, you'll be able to see the oil coming out and filling it up. And it does a really good job. It flows in one side, goes um, in there, and then the vacuum line here, I have used a Gatorade bottle, uh, this like a quart size type bottle, liter size bottle, works perfect. The top is wide enough where it sits right inside the, the hole here. So it goes inside there like that. And um, I've also made the oil hose a little longer than the vacuum hose just so that they don't suck the oil. And I also kept it up pretty high on this jar because the oil came up to about right here on just below it. So that way it didn't get sucked in and, um, and mess up the stuff. And it did a really good job. Uh, this is a 32 ounce jar and it's right there at the 20 ounce, uh, just under 20, which is 18 ounces of oil is supposed to be in here. So it worked out pretty nicely. A little dirty, that's only after five hours. Um, and then the drill bit, I used a sorry this one here the 13 30 seconds to drill a hole into the plastic top one of the nice things of having the mason jar with a plastic top it was very easy to cut uh, to drill rather than trim out the edge just use an exacto knife to clean up around the edges and i kind of beveled it so that it went in and that way it made it easier for the hose to slide in i didn't have to put any sealant whatsoever it put a nice seal on there and it worked perfect and the same thing for the plastic top on the gatorade ball is working. You can see it flowing into the bottle. And at the end, so it's not flowing all that much. But it is pulling. You can see it flowing through here. It makes it nice, you know, when you're actually getting something. And I just pick it up and I twist it around a little bit. Get, you'll feel it catch, and when you get it into the right spot, you start to see the oil flowing up through here that clear tube, that's why it's nice to have the clear tube, you know you're actually sucking oil. But it does a good job. It comes all the way down, that's probably the best thing. You can see how it's pulling that oil through there. And going right in. And I'm at the bottom, so that's why it's not pulling out much oil. It's pretty much done. Just trying to pull out any extra residual. So hopefully that helps you guys. I'm getting ready to put in some oil for it and i'm going to go full synthetic as well as everybody else is recommending but looking forward to using it on the other mower here in a few hours more i think it needs about another three and a half hours before i'll have to change the oil on that one have a good day hope this helps everyone